Welcome Africa, this is VIP TV. I'm your host, Sapna Chandaria, and I'm here to bring you the best in luxury lifestyle. At VIP TV, we're on a mission to bring you the most exclusive in Kenyan luxury lifestyle, including arts and entertainment, business and finance, travel, fashion, spas, restaurants, fine dining. In this episode of VIP TV, we talk to the artist Chilenge Van Rampelberg. The director of Tribe, the Village Market Hotel, Human Isani. VIP TV is on location today at the private studio of Chilenge Van Rampelberg. Chilenge is a Kenyan born artist who's worked with various media over the past 20 years. Her work is widely known, particularly in Japan, where she's had several successful exhibitions. <laughs> Artistic heroes is uh, Julius Wanjao, the one who did the sculpture of Freedom Fighters. It has given me so much looking at that sculpture of his. It opened my world in a different way. And before you actually saw his sculpture of the Freedom Fighter, what other inspiration was there for you within sculpting in particular? My dreams, the dreams that kept popping in my head and I never thought I would do a sculpture but I had sculptures in my mind that kept on pushing me over and over till the, the first one that I started not even knowing if I had I needed to use chisels I used a machete and an axe that way my, my sculptures grew and I learned slowly by slowly that they were actually tools that you can use to make sculpture, which makes it a bit easier to, to create. So out of the whole spectrum of African art, Chilenge, what is it that grabs you the most? What is it that speaks to you loudest? What speaks to me is I've learned to look. Look is very powerful. When you look, and I advise everybody to look, the word look is so powerful and you will see there's a lot to see out there. What really comes to me, I see humans and the way they behave, the characters, the way we behave. And there's a lot in, in, a, in a different way, and I put it in a, in a different form. <laughs> For the business traveler out there, I'm standing outside Tribe, the Village Market Hotel in Nairobi, Kenya. VIP TV is on location today for an exclusive interview with Human Isani, the director. Come join me. Tribe is really suited and, and was designed um, with the business traveler in mind. So from uh, many informal spaces for the you know just relaxed meetings between colleagues the um, and then some of the key features are for example the 24-hour restaurant uh, the business center that's open 24 hours uh, which means that you know even for conferencing needs that need to go out until um, until 2 3 in the morning or uh, video conferencing for contacts in Europe or the US that uh, that that facility is available um, so we're a true business hotel in that sense, um, and in operation, we, we don't tell you when you can't do business. Uh, any needs that you require, whether it's printing or secretarial services or anything, no matter what hour. So what insight would you give for potential business investors in Kenya today, regardless of whether it's the luxury marketplace, but just in general, what outlook would you make for Kenyan market? I think uh, there are opportunities still in Kenya, especially in the uh, business sector. Um, three, four-star properties. Um, would, would, you know, there's still space there. But uh, the big opportunities now are probably in conferencing. Uh, Kenya has done very well, well with uh, conferencing, and there, there's a huge demand, especially from the region. Mm -hmm. um, so even exclusive conference centers uh, would would do very well, um, as well as um, hotels with spas. I think you know, moving in in the direction of spas. Uh, would be an added benefit because that's that's something that's been neglected in this market for some time. Mm -hmm.